Today in this video, we're going to be testing what effect light spectrum has on plant reaching, and to do that, we've got a few things set up here that we're going to talk about real quick. First off, this is a continuation from a previous video, and if you have any questions about anything that I may not cover in this video, go ahead and click the link up here or at the end of the video. So what we got here actually is a hidden harvest grow light and an atrium grow light. This atrium grow light is a 4000K color temperature, a single color temperature panel, meaning that all the LEDs on here are one single color temperature. And the hidden harvest grow light is a mixed color temperature panel. So basically we've got um, some warm white and cool white diodes on there. In the previous video, I used this Sansi grow light, and this is also a 4000K single color temperature grow light. And I chose not to use that in this particular video because this has a uh, very uneven light distribution. And in order to make this fair, I needed another panel light like this uh, that would have the same coverage area with no lenses whatsoever. So that when I put my PAR meter on there, I have the same reading on this side as this side. And I've taken my PAR meter right here and I've measured that and we have about 295 micromoles on center with each of these containers. Now atrium lighting was actually nice enough to send me this panel here for this experiment. And this is actually a very similar panel to actually what's inside the plastic casing of the Hidden Harvest Grow Light. The main difference though is this uses much more efficient diodes. These are the Samsung LM301Bs. Uh, normally also it comes with a nice mean well driver that you can plug into the board. But what I actually had to do for this experiment is use a different driver from a different light so I can dial down the wattage because this is normally not dimmable. So I've actually turned this down to match the wattage of the Hidden Harvest Grow Light. And right now you can actually see that with matched wattages, this light's actually having to be hung up a little bit higher because this is actually putting out more light than the Hidden Harvest Grow Light. Not trying to knock the Hidden Harvest Grow Light, saying it's not efficient or anything. It is pretty low efficiency, uh, but this is a more efficient light, and that's why it's higher at this moment. In the previous video, we did hang this Hidden Harvest Grow Light at 18 inches above the plant tops, which is the recommended hanging height. The problem is, is that at that distance, there's only about 100 micromole of light reaching the plant tops, and it still caused reaching. So we lowered it down in the second part of the experiment, and we did see a difference which is why we're doing this video here. So with the Hidden Harvest Scroll Light at 3500K color temperature and the Atrium Light at 4000K, which is the same difference with the last experiment, we're gonna see if the spectrum has any effect on plant reaching. So basically what I've done here is I've set up both of these containers and they both have a lot of seeds in them and we're gonna sprout them and we're gonna see if there's any height difference in those seedlings with them both being under the same lighting intensity but the only difference is the spectrum of light. All right, it's been about two weeks and everything is sprouting very nicely. And there's two things I wanted to comment on here. You can see already there's a difference between this side and this side. It's not a huge difference, and I'm not sure what this actually means yet, but if we take a closer look, you can see that the ceilings over on this side are, the, the, the leaves are basically just a little bit broader. Um, the height difference is hard to tell yet because it's still kind of early on, but these leaves here are broader than the leaves over here on this side. Check that out. Very, very, very weird. Uh, it's not something I was expecting. Also, uh, I had to make some adjustments to these containers and I did this before they sprouted, before they were even emerging from the soil at all. So I put this board over here to minimize some reflection and I put this lid under this side of the container to lift it up just slightly. Because on my PAR meter, the center PAR measurement, the, originally the center PAR measurements were identical. But if I measured right towards the outside edges of these containers, there was about a 10 micromole difference or so from like this side of the container versus this side. Um, and it's not because of the light. I tried adjusting the light. It's just the nature of the reflections within the area here uh, and the light and everything. It's just, it's hard to make it exactly the same. So I had to do that. So right now it's about as even as it can possibly be with maybe only one or two micromole difference between this side and this side on average over the entire surface area of the top of the container. So it's extremely close to the same. This is the, probably the most um, uh, precise experiment I've done so far just because I'm trying to really dial it in. All right, I've let these go a few more days just to see what would happen. And you can see here that we've got basically just a little bit more growth, but um, it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of difference at this point. So let's take a closer look. Here's the tray under the atrium light, the 4000K color temperature. And if we go down here, you can take a look at the height of them. I'm going to line with the top of that uh, tub there. And like I said before, or like I've shown before, the leaves uh, were just a little bit more broad looking than the ones on the other side under the hidden harvest. 
overall the stems look the same, the, the stem thickness is the same. Uh, the only difference from this side to the other one is maybe there's a, a more quantity of germination and I really can't attribute that to the light itself. That would be very difficult to say because, you know, seedlings don't need light. In fact, they were in the dark before they germinated anyways. Uh, over here on the hidden harvest side, if you take a closer look here, so it seems like the leaves have broadened up a little bit. Um, overall, the shapes of them are a little bit different. If you look at, they look more maybe uh, wavy-ish. And I've, here's the height of them. So it's basically the same as the other side. I don't see any height difference whatsoever. Uh, I mean, obviously you'd come to expect that, but this is, uh, this was a continuation from the previous video in part one of this video series. And we saw at the end there with the single uh, watermelon seedling that there was a slight height difference, but it wasn't a big enough sample size, which is why we're doing this video. However, because I'm seeing a difference here in the just the overall look of how they're sprouting, uh, we're going to have to continue on with this experiment. So what I'm actually going to do is do the same thing I did in the first video in this video series, part one of that video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up the hidden harvest light to its recommended height up to 18 inches above the plant tops and I'm going to match the uh, the par levels on this side of the atrium light. Basically what we're doing now, keep everything the same, keep it, keep it consistent. Because in part one uh, of that video, there was a lot of reaching on uh, uh, both sides. But these, since these plants do seem like they're actually growing differently, these might react differently. So I'm going to dump these trays out and I'm going to start this over with the height difference on the lights. Okay, I've got everything reset here. Both containers have the same amount of soil, same seeds, and the same amount of water in each. The only difference now is I raised the hidden harvest light up to exactly 18 inches off the top of that soil, and I raised up the atrium light to match the par levels of that, which is about 142 micromoles on center, and I also measured the outside edges to make sure they're also uh, very even as well. So I just want to show you here, turn the meter on, Put this over here in the middle, and we got 142, 143 micromole. It's going to vary just by a slight bit. And I'll put it over here on the hidden harvest side, right in the center there. And we're at 143, 142-ish, 141. So about as even as it can possibly be. So we're going to let these sit for about a week or so. We're going to come back and see what happens. Okay, before we move on to the final results of this, I wanted to show the temperature difference between these two panels here. Uh, hidden harvest here on the right and the atrium on the left. Um, and I was talking about before how the atrium light uh, is a much more efficient panel because it uses the uh, more efficient diodes. So the hidden harvest light is basically like encased in this plastic casing. Inside of that is a panel that is just like this over here on this side. It's just a, a sheet of aluminum. Um, so with my uh, temperature, my infrared temperature or thermometer, you can see here the average temperature over the top here is we got 95, 93, 94. Um, there are some spots that were up at 100. Uh, it just depends. So you get a see a good average there. I hit a spot over there. There it is. There's 100 right there. Um, now you might think, well, it's in this plastic casing, so it's getting hotter. The panel itself, so it's retaining more heat. I did have another light that I, I took the panel out of, and I ran it just like the atrium light over here. And that uh, temperature from the panel, with, without it being in a uh, plastic casing, was 95 degrees mostly. So it's pretty much exactly the same as you're seeing now, except for this, uh, some of the spots on here that are hitting over 100. So if we take a look over the atrium light, you can see here it's running much cooler. Uh, quite a bit. This is actually running about 15 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the hidden harvest light and they're running at the same wattage. So that should also speak to the efficiency of it as well. I just thought that was kind of neat to show. All right, it's about two and a half weeks later and these are the results. And honestly, there's not a huge difference between these two. Uh, there is a small difference, I'm gonna show that in a second, but there's one thing I wanted to mention before that. So if we take a look over here on this side, in the first part of this experiment, we saw thinner, more wavy looking leaves and this time with the hidden harvest light raised up higher, I am not seeing that same result. And I would have to guess that that is because if you look here, uh, you know the co the cool white color temperature diodes. Those are 10,000 K. So I'm assuming that would have something to do with too much blue light intensity, uh, which caused that maybe caused that waviness in the thinner leaves. That would kind of make sense. 
but I'm not seeing that here at all. These leaves over here look pretty much the same as over on the atrium light side. Pretty much exactly the same. Uh, now the density as far as how much germination we had, uh, right off the bat you can see that on the hidden harvest side there's a little bit more. That's the opposite of the first part of this experiment, so the lights have nothing to do with the germination. That's just kind of how it happened. Uh, there is more sprouting over here right now. That doesn't matter at this point though. But overall, just looking at the leaves and looking how they're growing, looking at the stems, there's really no difference. But here's the difference. If we look down real low, and this is, might be a little hard to see on camera. If we look down real low, I'm gonna try to get this right in line with that tray. You see how those leaves are pretty much right in line with the very top of this tray? It's just barely sticking over the top of that. Now, if we go over to the hidden harvest side, let's see if I can get this down nice and low for you. You see how these are just sticking up a little bit higher? There's probably an eighth to a quarter inch height difference between this one and the other side. So I think it's pretty clear that there is a slight difference that the spectrum is having. Because remember, we used the power meter to make sure that the lighting intensity was identical on both sides. So the spectrum is having an effect. However, these pepper plant seedlings uh, don't seem to have as much effect on the lighting intensity of the spectrum as some other plants like the watermelon seedlings we did in part one of this series. So we're going to continue on with this series probably one more time. I'm either going to do watermelon seeds or maybe tomato seeds because those seem to have uh, a more drastic effect depending on the lighting intensity that they're giving in the seedling stage. So we're going to continue on. So please follow along with the series. We're going to do this again and we're going to see if we can get a bigger difference between these lights. But that's it for this video and um, hopefully next time we get a better result. Thanks for watching.